Hi, today we're going to practice shaping and drawing a curve. Um, I have this uh, vector curve and uh, I want to trace it. Now, if you're, a, if you're an experienced vector artist, you, you would look at this and, and have no trouble with it. Um, if you're a beginner, you might not really know how to do it. Uh, you might even find yourself doing something like this. Ding, ding, ding. Ding, 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 like that all the way around. And that's not the way to do it. And it takes too much time. So let's do it this way. I'm using a red line. And it's a little thinner than the blue line. So I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to start just by putting a node here and a node here. And then the nodes go where the line changes direction. So you can see it right here. That's called a cusp node. It's a sharp direction change. And right over here, you can see it. There's a subtle direction change, which is a smooth node. And you want to look and see exactly where the line changes from one way to another. And I'm going to say that's right about there. Then I'll put one obviously on the smooth on the cusp node and uh, one more down here and one more to finish it off. So I'm going to draw this whole curve with one, two, three, four, five, six nodes. And these are all still straight lines. So the first thing I'm going to do, marquee select these nodes with my shape tool, change them up to a curve right up here. So they're still smooth. Uh, uh, excuse me, there's still cusp nodes with a, with a curve between the two of them. So I can just start shaping that out the way I want. And, uh, okay, that part's about done. Uh, now the rest of it is going to be a little bit more complicated because you can see if I pull this down here, that's too sharp. I need to work on that a little bit more. This one I can get on my first try. And this one is too sharp. And this one is too sharp. So, now that we're basically shaped out, let's go up here to these control arrows. And I can shape this line out with a more of a, a graceful curve. And once you get used to the way these work, you'll be comfortable with, with uh, shaping a line the way you want. Um, I'm not going to try too hard on this project since it's just for a, a video, but you can see how they work. In general, the farther apart the arrows are pointing, the smoother the curve will be more or less and you can always move the nodes just to get it exactly the way you want now I'll go up to this one do the same thing pull them apart like this get them to fit All right, that's good enough for the video. Now I have one more thing to do, and that's this node right here. Remember, that's a smooth node. This is still a cusp, meaning that it changes direction that way. It should be smooth, so I'm going to change it to a smooth curve. And that might make it jump a little bit, so I have a little bit more to shape out now that it's a smooth curve. And I'm going to say for the purpose of this video, that's good enough. And let's learn one more tool. See this eyedropper over here on my menu? That's the object attributes. That's hard for me to say. Or it also could be a sample color. So if you ever want to sample a color from a bitmap and, and color a vector object, you can use this. So I take this eyedropper click on the blue 
And if I hold down shift and come down here, you can see my little fill can shows up. And I can change that bottom one to match the same line thickness and color as the top one. So now these look identical. And uh, that's how you shape a line. Practice with this. You'll get it under control faster than you think. And I hope your next project goes well.